a whole seven days. If you didn't miss me, then why are you back for my tea? Go ahead and turn me off if you ain't missed me. If you didn't miss me, I missed you too, me bestie. I did, I did, I did, I did. So, it's your girl K from Cute. I want to welcome you to my channel if you're new, Crafting with Cute. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming again. If you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you get all the good juice when I post it. And if you have already done that, guess what? All you got to do is like this video. Woohoo! 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 Okay, so today, my son not sleep, y'all. So please excuse him if you hear him in the background. But today, I am going to show you how to make an amazing flyer. So if you use social media a lot for your business, um, hmm, you can't really talk to your customers. So it's always good to make eye-catching presentations. Um, and we're gonna go over that today. I'm gonna show you how I make my flyers. And I received a question this week. Can you show me how you did your flyer? I said, tune into YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> Why well, ain't just tell her the app, y'all? She got to get it when y'all get it, okay? Okay. So, but she wasn't the first. I've been asked that multiple times. I have even had somebody ask to pay me to make a flyer. I'm not going to charge you to make a flyer. I made the flyer for the person, but... I want you to be able to do it too. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? It's it's easy, I promise, it's so easy. When you all see this, you're gonna be like, that's it, my flyers be looking bomb. I know, bomb.com. So, let's just get into it. Okay. The name of the app is PixArt, and it's gonna have a blue and purple ombre background with a white P. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is press the plus button, which means new. You're going to start something new. And you can complete a project on a free photo, a pre-made background, or a color background. I usually only use the free photos and the, the pre-made backgrounds if I'm just writing something quick, like, hey, pay your invoices in 12 hours. Hey, invoices will be canceled soon. Um, but for today, since I'm going to have a lot already going on on my poster, I want to start from scratch. And I'm going to do a back, white background. I need to create um, a bestseller's price list. So when my customers go to my main Instagram page, cute.com, buy dot ke they know what i sell and how much it starts at because i get a lot of questions hey how much are your masks hey how much are your t-shirts so i just want to go ahead and do a generic pricing sheet so there are a lot of cool icons down here that you can play with but the main ones i use are sticker text photo and i just started using border so the first thing I want to do is add all the pictures I'm going to need for my poster. And my best sellers are t-shirts, stacked bracelets, diaper cakes, wine glasses, masks, and personalized pendants. I also want to include this girl that I had created on through Etsy um, because my logo is on the shirt. So, um, there's basically a watermark on my flyer already, and I don't have to go and add one. So, we're going to leave her right there. We'll make her bigger sooner. I meant later, <laughs> sooner. And this picture right here, I really don't care for the background, all the access background. So, I want to go down here and use the crop icon to just mm, get all of this extra stuff out of the photo and always hit apply and in order to rotate the pictures you want to use this arrow right here if you decide you don't want the picture you want to use the x if you made a mistake and you hit the x and you do want the picture you just want to hit back right there that's the back button 
so we want to first of all make these pictures a little smaller we'll make them bigger later but I need the space right now I normally wouldn't do that but it's a little uncomfortable doing this video right now because the tripod is in the way so I'm using my left hand versus my right hand anyways so I want to add text so oh this picture still highlighted so text isn't going to show down here because right now they're giving you options of everything you can do with this picture so I want to make sure I click the white background so it takes me back to the whole entire project and then I want to hit so I want to do our best sellers. Mm, I want to make that on one line. So I want to make that black so I can see it. And then I want to do another text box and I want to put price list on the second line. And I want to make that black. I hate that it comes up white automatically because I use white a lot. The white background, so it's always, I have to always change the color in order to see what I'm doing. Um, so we have this. Now I want to change the writing because I'm really not a fan of that writing. So you're going to click font. And my favorite font is actually, when I'm doing titles, my favorite font is Luckiest Guy. I don't know, but I'm just in love with that font. So our best sellers, priceless. So now I want, I'm thinking of like maybe some type of line under priceless. So I want to go to sticker and I want the line to be black. So I'm going to type in black line to see what they have for me to choose from. I want to kind of go with like just some type of solid line under Okay, we're gonna roll with that right now. And I want to make this, I want this to be white because I wanna add a stroke. And that's pretty thin. I wanna get a dark stroke so it goes with my bold letters down here. And, um, nope. Me no likey. So, I want to go back. Come on. Okay. So, I want to make this one white with the black stroke. Okay. I like that better. Because it's not too much of the black on the black. And it doesn't look so bold. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, I'm going to put my pictures around. But I want a border on each of my pictures. So, I'm going to hit border. And there'll be an outer border and an inner border. You can't really see the outer border because it's black on black, but the color, to change the outer border color or the inner border color, you would choose these icons right here and pick whatever color you choose. And then to make it thicker or thinner, you just move this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that. 
and I'll put the border on all of them and then just make sure you hit apply. And usually I'm, I'm, I'm rushing because I feel like this has been going on a long time, but I would make sure the numbers are the same. So now that we have our, ooh, I don't want that to happen. All right, so now I just wanna put these pictures in. I wanna make her bigger. You see how this is cutting off? You can hit these two boxes right here and put move up so then this picture is now on top of the other picture. Same thing for here, move up. So now I should have probably did this this way. So now I want to kind of just put the prices here, but I think I want a box to put it in. So now I'm going to do black box to see what options I have. And I like this little double one here since I have borders up already. Okay, so now I wanna add some text and then I'm gonna list my items, mask, start at $20, t-shirts, Art at $25 and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in really quick and then I will show you the finished product in a few moments. Okay, so here's what I came up with and I wanted to make sure I added this at the bottom because I've been getting a lot of last minute orders, which takes away from other things that I'm doing. So I'm gonna start charging a rush order fee. Um, but see how pretty this is? I feel like I need something here and here. So I'm gonna go back to stickers. And because I had a black line and hearts under price list, I'm just gonna put in hearts so that it's uniform. Um, let's see what they have for me. 
simple 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 okay and I'm gonna I like I like add one more on the other side on the other side I need to make them smaller. I'm trying to click somewhere. Okay. And voila! Isn't she beautiful?